Hey, I'm back with some Final Fantasy. I haven't done this in a while. I've been focused on something. My setup's all gone. Very exciting what they bring me if I Oop, my camera's wrong. There's a whole bunch of things that are wrong right now. Where is it? There we go. Much better. There. I'll turn it away. Dude. I'm just capturing all of the monitor. Thank you. All right, popping into Emma goes. We're gonna red mage this. Magosa's color scheme is red. Uh, rolling barrier red, specifically. Although I should look into different types of craftable reds, just to kind of save some money. I couldn't find my normal normal overlay, but I did find a screenshot of uh, uh, Elagos and uh, and. Uh, that's the, uh, in their dancer set. We can hide these so we can focus. Anyway, work with it. <coughs> Never say I'm professional. All right, time for some newfound adventure at 6.1 content. There we go. How lovely to see you. You're not uh, too much of a rush. I was about to make a pot of tea. Would you like a cup? Take a seat then, and I'll find us something to nibble on as well.
It's so much quieter these days without everyone around. Not that I'm pining for your return, you understand. I have my sources, and I know that each and every one of you is doing well and keeping busy with your endeavors. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm left with a surplus of free time and the question of how to make the most of it. What about you? Any plans for the immediate future? Grand new venture, of course. <laughs> Traveling to the edge of existence and back wasn't enough? Well, if that's the case, I might have a suggestion for you. You've fought bravely and selflessly, helping those in need and saving our star from unimaginable threats. For your deeds, you've been hailed as the champion of Eorzea and a host of other incredible things. But why not put those titles aside for a while? Acquit yourself as a simple adventurer again and travel the world in search of wonder. Trying to fix things for new to it and didn't work. Oop, didn't want to take a picture. Ah! Fuck. Pardon me. This is what happens when you accidentally hit the uh, print screen button. Great idea, but where to start? Oh, with so many exciting places to choose from, it's hard to narrow it down. But I believe I have the perfect destination in mind. Thavner, that's where you should go next. I doubt you were able to squeeze in a proper tour of Rads at Han the last time you were there. What with the burning skies and rampaging monsters and so forth. And I'm sure Vritra would be pleased to see you. Then there's the bounty itself. The Empire's presence in the region was always a deterrent to exploration. So if you've a mind to sail that sea, now's your chance. Just think of all the new experiences you could have. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. Oh, I know that look. That's an adventurer ready to take on the world. In anticipation of an occasion like this, I was planning to gift you a new set of traveling clothes, but it's uh, still a work in progress. Shouldn't take much longer now though, so sit tight and I'll have the last few bits sewn up before you can finish another cup of tea. It sure has pockets.
stitching here and trimming there. Not the threads with love and care. Just a little more to go. I'm sure you're still brimming with excitement. <laughs> I'm one with the needle. See how the fabric surrenders to my whims. Don't worry. I'll make sure the lining has plenty of pockets for all your little treasures. I swear adventurers are worse than children when it comes to hoarding every feather and leaf and animal hide they come across. Oh, we mustn't forget the waterproofing. Gods forbid you forget to disrobe before plunging into the sea, or a river, or a piping hot bath. Very familiar. Remember the Crystal Tower series when we went into the world of darkness? Ah, you're awake. My apologies. I do get a little carried away with my sewing. You seem awfully cheerful. Pleasant dream? Or are you just looking forward to the next chapter of your grand saga? Either way, I promise to provide you with new apparel, and so I shall. If you'll accompany me to the Diamond Forge, we can put the finishing touches on your outfit, shall we? I'm probably not going to wear them. I'm going to stick with my red mage outfit. Observe that the artiste refines a piece into a masterpiece. And no napping this time. I only need a moment, you'll see. A little more room in the shoulders, up at the cuffs, and an adjustment to the hem. All done. Let's see how it looks on the mannequin. Well, what do you think? Doesn't it just scream, ready for a bold new adventure? Or maybe I will wear it. I'm so glad you approve. Not done yourself, self-tatter. The 
Tyra. Thank you. Oh, stop. You're making me blush. If you really want to thank me, though, all I ask is that you wear this on your travels. Or at least anywhere lots of adventurers might gather. <laughs> They'll look at you, a famous hero, and wonder, where did he purchase his stylish yet practical garments? And before you know it, hordes of new customers were climbing over each other to place orders at Tataru Taru's and boutique. <laughs> you can hear it now, the merry clink clink of the gill overflowing from my coffers. Sweet music to my ears. It's just gloves, torso, and boots. Or pants. Ahem. Virgin Merchant Empire Society, you must be excited to start a new chapter of your life. New places to go, pe new people to meet. I often wonder how you remember all your experiences and exploits without taking a few, at least a few notes. Oh, maybe you should start doing just that. You never know when some odd past detail might become relevant, or in one day you'll take a blow to the head and forget the better part of the past decade. Something to keep in mind, in any case. Oh. Ending codex. Start off with just Tataru Taru, by, by the seventh thought, in the final days. That's it. We'll get more as we go along. The unending codex is now available in the collection, the duty section, and the main menu. New entries with prominent terms and characters will be added to the codex as you progress through the main scenario quests. As the uh, former receptionist and sometimes intelligence gatherer of the science, allow me to offer you a word of advice. Do not expect juicy rumors to simply fall into your lap. Ventures rely on gossip and the best places to pick up information on tabs and markets. At present, you only have, have a broad definition of mind. When you arrive in Thavnir, I suggest you explore your options at Marades in Mehanin. Mehanin. Find a stricter establishment in the Ratsakhan. Charm the employees, and they'll not only point you in the direction of the local telltales, but also share with you the tricks of loosening their tongues. Now, I really must be getting back to running my boutique. Enjoy the journey, Amagos, and may, may fair fortune find you. Alright, first things first. Uh, I need a glamour dresser. Um, I probably could have gone to with the uh, run to old dog, but let's start here. All right, so we got chest.
rid of this. Looks good. Actually, I'm not going to worry about it. I do run the time around. Welcome to, to Marady's Mahandi. Oh, hello. I did not recognize you at first. Are you here alone? Let me find you a table. Actually, I'm looking for some information about the runes under the bounty. Runes beneath the bounty? Are you speaking of the sunken treasure vault? We have one regular historian, in fact, who could tell you all about it. Ah, there he is. Professor Jalheen. Though, I thought I saw him come in. Although a somewhat private sort, the professor is quick to befriend those who share his fondness for Mehani's unique beverages. Offer him any drink from our selection, he, will, he should happily share everything he knows about the vault you seek, and a few other odd bits besides. Whatever you buy for him is on the house, by the way. If Meredi mm, found out I took coin from Thasnia's savior, he would have me scrubbing pots for a week. Okay, do a slight adjustment to sound. Bring the music down a little bit. Yes. Well, our event cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty by the registrations. What may I do for you, my Ocean friend? Ah, uh, just a friendly chat. How about a drink? Oh, I certainly would say no to a drink freely offered. Here we are, one of Marady's finest. Enjoy! 
Oh, lovely. Bottoms up. Now he empties the cup in a single pole. That was very kind of you, sir, but I, I know when I'm being softened up. What is it that you want from me? All right, I heard about it. There's something about some ruins beneath the bounty. Or if you could tell me more about it. Oh, chasing down that old tale, are you? It does seem to appeal to the adventurous of, at heart. Well, where to begin? Might I assure you, assume you've heard of us at all. He was Khan of the of the Aori tribe, which sailed to Thavnir from the mainland. A key figure in the history of Radzatan. His decision to aid the Arkasodora is what ultimately won them the war against the Ga Gajasura, thus allowing our predecessors to lay the foundation for this thriving city-state. The truly fascinating stories, however, cons concern his grandson, Alzadal III, who was, was known for his deeds as Satrap in Razadhan's earlier days. Some attest that this man traveled to another world entirely and returned with glittering riches. Others, that he broke an alliance with a certain worm of the first brood. Then there is a tale of the second vault, the one one you seem so curious about. According to this legend, Azadal III claimed, claimed a small island somewhere in the mi middle of the bounty. There he built a structure reaching clear to the bottom of the sea, a deep and secret storehouse, and locked all of his worldly wealth within. In the century since, whenever a natural disaster or hardship felt, uh, befell Rathatan, folk would remember the tale of hidden treasure. Hardy soul was set out to claim the fortune, but precious few ever made it home. Would you like to hear more? <coughs> Apologies, I have this slight tickle in. Oh, my cup appears to be empty. Heal another round for the professor. Ah, see, we reached an understanding, you know, shop one adventurer. Another for the professor. Oh, today was a splendid day to visit the Mayani. Aline gulps down his newest drink with gusto. What were we... Uh, <laughs> Yes, uh, those who did remember, did return, was seeking the treasure vault, refused, I mean, flatly refused to speak of what they saw. Uh, did they discourage others? Nay, quite the opposite. Such accounts only served to feed the legend and the golden lure grew stronger than ever before. It reminds me of something uh, Azma uh, was saying. Azma is a fellow connoisseur of spiritist scruples. Yes, yes, he is. Anyway, he was saying that one of his acquaintances went after the treasure himself. Hasn't been seen since he set sail. Here. But he did have a... Uh, no, I can say no more. Let me see me generous, sir. What kind of man would I be to encourage what is clearly a full eye request? My words sent you to your death. I could never li live with myself. I'm no stranger to peril. I mean, I went to the edge of the universe and back. Is that so? Perhaps it's your turn to turn the tail then. I know some dangers. The very edge of existence? From any anyone else would struggle to believe it, but I recognize you now. You're the <laughs> hero of the final days. A drink! I need another drink to sell my nerves. Malil! More of the same, if you please. As you wish, but this one is on your coin, Professor. Well, he, he drinks yet another cup dry. Uh... 
Anyway, you being who you are, I suppose I wouldn't hurt to share a little more. This friend of Osmos, he was desperate to buy the fortune map, one which showed the way to the entrance of the vault. Seems he could only get it from some merchant. Is his name? But I forget. The shrinker toasts you, my new best friend. Malia, more drinks. Uh, by the way, this winking is so weird. The face, the, 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 the winks are like too obvious or something. I don't know. Your drinks, uh, I'm marvelous. I'm parched. Jigging gulps down the cup of water. <laughs> that, that was water. Did you tell her to bring me water? Still, uh, that's that's probably for the best. Very kind of you, really. It was certainly thank you in the morning. Uh, I seem to have overindulged. I am put in mind of the words of Master Yazan. You wear how much of the drink you swallow, lest it swallows you. And forgive me, I will subject you to no more of these unseemly, um, unseemly antics. If you want to speak with Asma, well, as I said, we share a taste of the Mahani's fine spirits. Probably came in as we were talking. I wish you fortune in finding your fortune. You appear to have learned all that. You have appeared to learn all that Jaheen has to share regarding the undersea travel vault. To find out more, you'll need to locate a man by the name of Ozma. Or Ozma? Something like that. And he's over here. Guys, yeah, standing on the table again. We're here. Anyways. Yes, I'm Ozma. And who might you be? Uh, all true, I'm afraid. My friend took a ship out in search of Azadal's legacy. It's been, and I've been waiting for the sails ever since. I tried to dissuade him, of course, but he refused to listen. All he could talk about was finding that vault. And that look in his eyes, I knew it wasn't common gold or jewels he lusted after. He was hunting Azadal's as a third's unworldly hoard, and his ambitions would not be denied. I, mean, I don't know what accent I'm doing right now. I'll try to stop it. I see it in you, too, that appetite for the mysterious and unknown. I will not attempt to turn you on the path. I know too well the futility of that endeavor. So I will tell you that my friend to what my friend told me. How he convinced a merchant the bazaar to give him the rough location of the vault set. It seems this merchant, one the shawl, I believe, is selling a map that shows the exact route. But my friend's purse was too light for its exorbitant price. With that meager wealth he, he had, he... Instead, paid to learn that there are ruins in a small island somewhere in the a small island somewhere in the bounty, but within those ruins hides the path to the vault deep below. If you truly intend on seeking out Zadal's treasure, I suggest you put your affairs in order. I wish things were different, but I do not believe my friend is ever coming home. Uh, What's all this about? My mother and father were slaughtered by monsters. My baby sister still too young to fend for herself. Can you spare us no kindness? Sir, 
You hope to find your fortune? And what? You expect me to surrender my wares for pity's sake? What have you to offer in payment? As I thought. Come back when you've more than rags to your name. This is no mere treasure map. It is a guide to the vaults of Arzadal III. One of the great star tracks of Radzat Han, and a direct descendant of Alzadal Khan. A map to Alzadal's legacy. So he says. A fake I'd wager. This is no fake. The parchment is marked with an arcane glyph of passage. You may find the ruins hidden in the bounty. But you won't be setting foot inside without this in your possession. A priceless artifact it is. Discovered amongst the rubble in the aftermath of the final days. And lovingly restored by yours truly. This map is the key to fabulous riches. And I'll be the king of fools to simply give it away. Be glad I am no such king boy. Your scrawny eye did never return with that treasure alive. <laughs> oh, cruel fate! Why must you tempt me with wealth I am powerless to claim? How I shall envy the one who purchases that precious map! Whatever they pay will be but Pittance against the golden hordes they stand to uncover. Oh, the Stenian. What of you, sir? Fighting man of your stature would surely relish the challenge of recovering Alzadal's lost fortune. A fortune, you say? If I had but the strength to seize that treasure, my starving sister would never want for food. I'll take it. Will this cover the price? Well met, my friend. Someone is dressed for adventure. But why fathom air of all places? Knowing you, I suspect there's more to your plans than sightseeing and shopping. I think I like about the cloak on this outfit. The bounty. Curious. And here I've acquired a map to just such a site. With that sale, I do believe I've earned the rest of the day off. Thank you for your patronage, sir. But if you'll excuse me. You needn't mind us. The cloak has uh, separates just and right at the right place. The the final and my tail goes through. Probably the sisters were looking elsewhere. This map may or may not be genuine. Either way, we'll need a ship to find out for sure.
seem eager to be underway. Lest you misunderstand, I seek the treasure not for myself. If such a fortune truly exists, then it could help ease the struggles of those who lost their loved ones in the final days. I hope to do for Thavnir what you and Alphano did for the Alamegans when you recovered the Mad King's trove. Come now. You know Alphano needs little encouragement when it comes to recounting the tales of your shared exploits. Hmm. Speaking of precocious lads, that boy in the bazaar was clearly an accomplice of the merchant. Suppose his role was to draw the attention of the crowd and add weight to the merchant's bold claims. Transparent act for the most part, it was not all mummery. The need to provide for his sister rang true enough. Thus, if some portion of the profits end up in that waif's pockets, then I will consider it money well spent, whether the map leads us to the vault or not. You are coming along, yes? Naturally. I thought as much. Now, let's see about securing a vessel. You will recall I spoke of visiting Thavnir and Vitra's request. Well, he finally invited me to a feast and made his proposal once I was too full of vanish delights to refuse. He wishes me to train the Radiant Host in Lensworth. But that is a tale for another time. What we need now is a merchant or a trawler with a ship fit for open seas. Matsya is a fisherman by trade, yes? We should head to Akiali and see if he can help us. I forget how I do the, the voices. My friends, brings you to our humble village. Exposition. We need to see where the vessel to seek these ruins. Consider it in it was your deeds that allowed us to return to fishing. I should think everyone would be glad for, for a chance to repay the favor. Wait here, and I'll have a boat stocked and ready for you in no time at all. Have you noticed our little shadow? He's been following us since we left the city. We see you there, boy. Show yourself. It's kind of... Ah, it is you. 
you know how far out of your uh, way we walked so that you would not cross paths with some wild beasts. I'm sorry, sir, but aren't you the heroes who saved Avnir? You are. I know you are. And we've gone and cheated you. I work for the shawl, you see, the map merchant. It's my job to play the pleading orphan and convince the crowd as well as so worth the price he asks. I'm ashamed for what I've done and beg for your forgiveness. Not for you, my sister and I would never have... Well, we'd be... Enough. I knew your game. I paid the price willingly. A fortune, pur a fortune purchase, as it turns out. But my friend here was seeking those very ruins. You are too kind to overlook the wrong I've done to you. But there is more you need to know. The map you bought is very real, as, it, as is the island it shows. Overheard the shuttle selling the information to another customer. He told that man whether he needed to search about the, about the ruins, about the vault, about everything. And the man sailed out to find his fortune, never to return. You cannot go alone to that place. You have more friends with you. Maybe even a whole army. I do not doubt the ruins hold danger. I assure you, between the two of us, there is little we cannot overcome. Please... I cannot bear the thought of... of... Might need a hand moving the treasure. Assuming we find any. Still, it may prove wise to bring some companions. Long all the same. Any ideas in whom to approach? The signs have scattered far and wide while, since our last gathering. Hmm. Well, Thancred and Or Orianger, that would give us a healer and a tank. Uh, Alpha and Alize, but that's really only a healer. I'm currently a red mage, so I no tank. Uh, your Sholo might be coming handy, uh, but. Uh, uh, Graha and Kral. Kral's got some healing talent, and uh, Graha can do almost anything. And did promise to take him on an adventure. Uh, let's check in on Graha and Kral. They might need a break from what they're doing. With the students of Baldessian. Aye, Kral may have her hands full rebuilding the students. But if we reach out to Gra, he would sh surely leap at the invitation. Will that set your mind at ease? Y yes, that man is as strong as you. Is he, though? Strong, I mean? Aye. What is your name, boy? Murat. Murat, sir. Well, Murat, your life is yours to live as you will. I suggest you find a more honest trade if you... Truly wish to keep your sister safe. I'm not proud of what I do. But what choice do I have? I need to eat. Everyone's too busy rebuilding their own lives to bother with two grubby orphans. Wait, boy. I didn't take this roundabout road just to see you end up in some creature's belly. Let me walk you back to the city gates. Thank you, sir. Call me a stinian. The stinian may have a rough exterior, but he has a heart. I shall leave you to recruit Graha. I anticipate appreciate the invitation. He'll appreciate the invitation that much more, I'm sure. As I recall, he was based in the annex. Someone there ought to be able to point you in the right direction. Let's be off, Maraud. Maraud. Maraud? Yeah, I think it's Maraud. Do me a favor and don't stray from the path. Off to old Charlene. I need to farm up some major rate tickets.
This quest, we'll do it another time. Let's talk to Ojika. Oh, look who it is. Welcome back, Amigos. What might the students do for you? Gra? Well, yes, he's in the main hall with Mistress Cry. They'll be holed up there. They've been holed up there for days. By all means, go and give them an excuse to take a break. Ah, Ajika, my good man. Would you be so kind as to... I really wish they would get... I mean, have a wave oh, like, hi. This is a pleasant <laughs> surprise. I wish you had sent word ahead. I thought I was having visions for a moment there. Because the registration is the students coming along. Slow and steady. Raha and I have been compiling old records of the students' activities. We located several accounts in the archives of Numenon and added them to the collection we recovered from the Isle of Val. And judging by the progress we've made thus far, Sorting this pile will keep us occupied for days to come. But what brings you to the Annex, my friend? Surely you haven't come all this way just to watch us shuffle dusty papers around? Yeah, we need some help finding the, ru the ruins of Alcidal III. The Isn't treasure it? vault of Alcidal III? And you're looking for companions to join you on this expedition. Oh, I would dearly love to accompany you, of course. But I'm afraid I'm committed to another task. On the subject of which, I had hoped to ask for your assistance. Then again, it's not so urgent that it can't wait until you've returned. You should go, Raha. I'll stay here and mind the shop, as it were. Are you sure? I'd hate to leave you short-handed. I'm sure. Just try to be back before too many moons have passed. Well... I guess we're off on another adventure already. Have you asked anyone else to come along? Then might I suggest we invite your Stola? Ever since the Scions disbanded, she spent most of her time cloistered within the Great Gubal Library hoping to piece together a method to traverse the rift. It would seem, however, that whatever wisdom she sought there was not to be found. She arrived in Charlion the other day. We spoke briefly before she began her search of Numenon. Considering what you've told us of Alzadal's extraordinary feats, I do believe your Stola would be more than interested to hear what you have to say. Lend it. Then let us head to the archives at once. Wait before you go. I have another potential member to volunteer, if you've room to spare. Urianger. He sent the students a request for materials, you see. Treatises on the architecture of treasure vaults and the like.
From what I can gather, the Loperitz are looking to make improvements to their own creation and wish to learn more about how we build things down here. So, why not take Urianger with you? Let him study Alzadal's legacy firsthand. There's our healer. None can deny the benefit of seeing something with your own eyes. If our expedition leader has no objections, I say we extend Urianger an invitation once we've spoken with your Stola. Safe travels, you two, but don't forget, I'd still like your help with that other matter I mentioned. Right, then it's off to the library. Grabbing those grant XP, and I needed a uh, job that was not max level, so I switched over to monk. I've never known your Stola to doze off in the middle of research before. Close my eyes for one moment. <laughs> How long have you two been here? Uh, okay, I'm trying to think of Emigos' personality. Um, he's... Nah, he's, he's good with the teasing. Catching up some, some light reading. Something to that effect. I must have been studying for two, three days straight before exhaustion finally claimed me. As you know, I've been researching ways to travel from the source to one of its reflections. Well, looking for hints at least. I don't expect to find a simple set of instructions tucked away in some dark corner of the library. 
so I've been skimming through the stacks, hoping to uncover even a partial mention of any similar feats in the past. A means to travel between worlds exists, and you can be sure I will find a way to employ it. So I promised Runar, but twould seem I've set myself a nigh impossible task. You needn't be so hard on yourself. The leap I made with the Crystal Tower was not achieved in an afternoon. It was the culmination of a collective effort spanning generations. Oh, you think me discouraged. I assure you, tis quite the opposite. A daunting challenge and the time to sink my teeth into it. I feel like a fresh-faced student again. A scholar in her element. Indeed. Was there something else you wish to ask of me? Exposition. Alzadal is no minor figure in Harnish history, and much is known about his family. But this is the first I've heard of a descendant surviving a trip to another world. If those tales are true, then he may have left behind some clue as to how it was accomplished. An invitation to delve into one of the world's lingering mysteries. As if I could refuse. And whence do we embark upon this expedition? Akiali, by ship. But before that, we thought to extend an invitation to Uriange as well. He was in Thalmazain, last we heard. Then by all means, let us recruit him and be on our way. Unending codex. Oh, there's a whole bunch of more more stuff. Got Instinian. Valino. Oh, hey. Signs of the Seventh Dawn. He's a Dragoon. One of the Ishgards was compatible, capable of knights Astinian called Wormblood by many. Once led his order as a renowned Azure Dragoon. Wow. This is a whole treatise. Graha, all around her. Ryle, mage of the science. Sorceress, you stole the rule. Ryle by destiny. Heidelin, primal. Whole thing about the reflections and the crystal tower. Head to Aporia. Man, things are jittery. Champion. 
Cloaked in the mantle of the common explorer, fame set aside in thy pursuit of simple adventure. I am told a new expedition is in the offing. Good to see you as well. And thee. As ever, thou art the picture of strength. You've been keeping yourself busy, I trust? True to our plan, Thancred and I embarked upon a pilgrimage of sorts, with an eye for gauging the state of those lands through which we passed. Our travels were interrupted, however, by a request for aid from our beferred lunar allies. As you may recall, the Lopperids have been seeking new purpose for the moon, another role through which it might serve to benefit mankind. The Forum have been working to advise them in this endeavor, but I return to offer mine own counsel. And this has what to do with treasure vaults, exactly? Ah, you have learned of my predicament from Mistress Cryle. I know not whence they acquired such knowledge, but the Loperits now stand convinced that adventurers delight in treasure hunts. Thus, with their newly built wonderland of riches and mystery, do they hope to entice all manner of daring delvers to the moon. So earnest and innocent was their desire to bring joy to the world that I found myself powerless to refuse them my cooperation. But what of you, my friends? Why are you come to Labyrinthos? Exposition. Fascinating. This is indeed a most fortuitous opportunity. I should be honored to accept thine invitation. How long has it been, I wonder, when last our actions were not impelled by fate or desperation? Aye, though I cherish the Scion's accomplishments, it is pleasant to not have the weight of the world upon our shoulders for a change. Counting Istinian, we number five now, yes? Without knowing what traps or perils await unwary feet, we may be wise to refrain from recruiting others. I agree. Between us, we should have the skills to handle whatever situation may arise. Shall we be on our way? What, no time to spare a word for the grizzled old bard? All is well, I trust. A wasted trip, I'm afraid. I'd hoped to catch up with a former mentor while you parleyed with the rabbits, but it seems our paths were not to cross. They're looking well. I'll just look at that. That's because we didn't travel by experimental etherite. It's astounding what a lack of nausea does for one's sense of well being. In any case, as we made our way around Ilzabad, we saw that much of the continent was in various stages of chaos. A certain amount of disorder is to be expected. The final days are over, and the people no longer have a common threat binding them together. 
That's the thing with these fledgling troubles, eh? You need to keep an eye out, lest they mature into full-grown headaches. So, for what reason have so many esteemed personages seen fit to gather? Exposition? Beneath the waters of the bounty, you say? I see you've already stolen away my traveling partner with the promise of unexplored ruins and scholarly glory. Nay, it is not for mine own indulgence, but rather the fulfillment of my commitment to the Lopperids. Ah, of course. And if you have a Stinian rounding out your group, you'll likely have all the members you need. Feeling left out? I could put in a good word for you, if you like. We may have been released from our obligations, but I'll never be free of that merciless wit of yours, will I? <laughs> in all seriousness, it is best I sit this one out. Too many former scions consorting with one another might be seen as a cause for concern in certain quarters. I'll return to my usual reconnaissance and scout out the situation in the Far East. Feel free to share if you come across any interesting revelations. Till we meet again. Shall we also hasten our departure? Sir Estinian will wonder what hath become of us. Time to head back to Thavnir and uh, Gyali. Yeah, Do my best. I think I'm going to lose the whole thing. Nope. Yes, we down. I send you to recruit Graha and you return with the entire survey party. Hope Matsu's boat is steady enough to carry us all. What he means is we are grateful for the for the one of you the use of what are your precious fishing vessels. We are more than glad for the chance to provide it. Only I ask only that you take care to steer clear of the reefs in the shadows there. Aye, we will keep an eye out. Some buff food. Let me talk to you, Phil. Despite his misgivings, I wager Maraud uh, remains in that merchant's employ. I will pray to Sandaruva for your safe return. May the wealth of her blessings guide you to the treasure you seek. In my travels, I spied many a child wandering alone. Orphans. In all likelihood, 
whose homes raised by beasts and blasphemies can be rebuilt. The void left by those we have lost cannot so easily be filled. Ah, the thrill of imminent venture. I never tire of this feeling. Asada the Third. I confess I am somewhat embarrassed that the tale of his journey to another world escaped my notice. Be more than simple folklore. And what of the treasure he supposedly brought back? This undersea vault which may hold relics of another ref from another reflection. My friends, you should temper your expectations. The math does promise ruins, but beyond that we know not what we will find. Not until we find it, I. So let us dispense with the conjecture and set sail for the vault. to do ranged melee tank healer. That's why I call a round um, round party. Is this stream so jittery? It's got to be the fact that I'm sharing my monitor. having issues with this I hate to do it but we'll just have to stick with this yeah this is awful. Uh, buff up.
Yeah, this is terrible. Action sequences is when things get really bad. It's not frame drops, it's the streaming software being slow. Now I'll have to figure it out for next time. Hopefully the sound's okay at least.
skiddy. Allow me. I think we're gonna take a break. I'll probably see if I can fix this uh, slowness. I have to restart my streaming software. That's all right. All right I'm in the middle of the dungeon. Allow me. Your cover.
Hold still.
That was a clean run of that. Usually I end up dying on that for some reason. I've done it on some of my alts. I did that wrong. I wanted to do this.
This is a fun one. Hey, I avoided the spikes. Perfect! That was my first perfect run of this. Despite the fact that, that the stream's been all jittery. I'm going to figure that out. I don't have any drop frames, but plenty of slow frames. It's just receiving a jittery thing for this and that. So, 
before I continue, before I exit this, I'm going to see if I can fix this. I'm going to stop the stream, restart my streaming, start first, start the stream again. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Uh, oh, I got a uh, teacup capiculu. Jacket of Fendi. All right, I'll be back in a bit, hopefully with a much smoother stream. 